Welcome to combining integers using addition and subtraction. In this particular lesson, we are going to be focusing on using both addition and subtraction in the combination of integers. In our previous two lessons, we've used just addition or just subtraction. Now we're going to be getting a combination of the two. So it requires a little bit more attention, especially in the early steps, to make sure that, as we recall, if we're going to be combining integers using subtraction, what we actually want to do is change that to addition. So let's take a look at the first example. First example, plus 10 plus minus 7 plus minus 3. So let's have a look at these guys here. We have the first one being combined using addition. So that one's OK. We're going to leave it. The second integer being combined using addition also. So it's good. We don't have to go about any changing. From here, we just jump right to the first step, which is writing out the integers as we see them. So there's our plus 10. Let's get that one in first. We're going to write it out. Plus 10 looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a lot of pluses right there. All right, so that's the first one. Let's put a little check mark there. Now we're going to write out our second integer horizontally. It is a negative 7, so we'll do that now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's our 7. Now our third integer, we're going to write it out. Minus 3. Looks like 1, 2, 3. Okay, so here we go. We've got our big pile of pluses, our big pile of minuses. We're going to combine pluses and minuses. So 1 plus and 1 minus. We're going to put a little circle around them, like a lasso, sort of. Because what we want to do is let a plus and a minus undo each other, cancel each other out with a net change of zero. That's going to help us determine exactly how much stuff, either positive or negative, we have at the end. So let's start doing that right now. Here's a plus and a minus, a little box around it, and cross it out. Here's another one, cross it out, another one, cross it out, another one, another one, another one, and yet another one. Now, these ones here get a little messier. They don't line up quite as well, but that's okay. We'll put a box sort of around the first one here. There's a plus and a minus. Cancelled out. And another plus and a minus. Also cancelled out. And the last, a plus and that minus. And they kind of get cancelled out. So what do we have left? Interestingly enough, we don't really have anything left. We don't have any pluses. We don't have any minuses. What we have left is nothing. We have 0, which is an integer, so that's an OK answer. So our answer, once we've crossed everybody out, is going to be 0. So that's our first example. Again, you can see this is a little bit messier than some of the other um, groupings that we've done, but that's OK. Messy is all right as long as we keep it straight. So let's have a look at the second example. Example number 2, we've got negative 9 minus negative 5 minus positive 1. All right, so this is going to require a little more work. And the reason is that, you'll notice, we are combining with subtraction both times. And we don't like to do that. We'd like to combine with addition. So let's change those minuses or subtractions to addition right now. But the deal is, if we do that, we have to change the sign of the integer immediately after it to its opposite. So if this is a minus 5, this now has to become a plus Five. And if this was a plus 1, this has to become its opposite, or minus 1. And I'll put the brackets around that. And I'll put the brackets around that too. So now we've adjusted subtraction to addition, and we've adjusted the integers that immediately follow that to their opposite signs. So now we're going to start, just like before, by writing out our integers. So we'll start with negative 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Running out of space a little bit. 9. Squeeze it in there. All right, our next integer is a plus 5, which we'll write in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our next integer, minus 1. There it is. Oops, I'm sorry. I just realized I made those minuses. Those should all be pluses right there. I'll go back and fix that right now. There we go. All right, so now we've written out all of our integers horizontally. Now we're going to start pairing them up. Now I might, because I kind of wrote that all packed in there, I'm going to just rewrite those last two with a little more space so that I can still get some um, get some groups around them. Alright, so now we're going to start pairing these off. So here is a positive-negative pair, cancelling themselves out. Another one, 
another one, another one, another one. And now I'm out of pluses actually, so my plus minus combos or pairs, they're finished. Let's see what we have left. Well, we have minuses left. And how many of them specifically? We have one, two, three, four, and there's our fifth one right there. So our answer is going to be negative five. That's going to be our answer. Uh, the combination of negative nine and negative five and positive one. So what I'd like you to do now is hit pause in the video and I'd like you to give example a, a try on your own. Again, keeping in mind, the first thing that you're going to want to do is see how these integers are being combined. If it's not addition, you want to make sure that you change it to addition, doing all the appropriate steps afterwards before you start writing these integers out horizontally. So, let's give this one a try. When you're done, come on back and we'll check how you did. Alright, let's get a look at this. Our first two integers are being combined using addition, so that's okay. The second one being combined using subtraction. So that one has to change. We're going to write this out as addition. Addition is our preferred method of combining integers. But if we do that, we have to change the sign of the integer immediately after to its opposite. So this now is going to become, oops, it's going to become plus 6. That's what we're after right there. Now we're going to write our integers out horizontally, starting with plus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 of those, followed by negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 of those, and followed by 6 more pluses, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so we've written them out horizontally, now we are going to pair them up. A plus and a minus, cancelling out again, 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 and that's it, we're out of minuses, so by extension we're out of pairs. Let's count up how many we have left. We can see that our answer is going to definitely be positive, a lot of pluses there. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. So plus nine is our answer. Hopefully you got the same one. I'd like you now to hit pause in the video again and give example B a try on your own. Once you've got an answer, come on back, we'll check how you did. Alright, let's get a look at this. First thing we want to do is check the operations, and that first one there is not what we want. They're being combined using subtraction, so we want to change that. Let's go ahead and do that now. I want to change that to addition, but in order to do that, I have to change the sign of the integer after it to its opposite, so that's going to now become a minus 2. And this one here is being combined using addition, so that's okay. We'll just keep that one as it is. Let's start by writing out our integers horizontally. So there's our negative 5. We write that out as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negatives. Our next integer is a minus 2. And we'll write that out as 1, 2 minuses. And the last one, uh, negative 3, which we write as 1, 2, 3. Alrighty, so we don't seem to have any pluses in this one, actually. So we don't have any pairs. We just have to sort of count up what's here. So we know that our answer, our result is going to be negative. How big is that negative pile going to be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Our answer then will be negative 10. And that's the end of the lesson on combining integers using both addition and subtraction. Hopefully this is uh, working out for you and you're feeling good about it. Good luck on your worksheet and yeah, good luck in the rest of the unit.